Welcome to another collection update. This is the July collection update. This is everything that I bought in the month of July. Um, not all these videos are out, so if you want to subscribe to see those in the future, you can, but a lot of these are ones that were in shorts or will be in shorts very shortly, and uh, then once we've already made videos of already this month. So let's get right on into it. I'm going to give you kind of my brief thoughts on some of them, more thoughts if they're shorts because I don't make my thoughts in shorts, so... Let's get right on into it. Now we are going to start off with some Funko Pops. Now I know not everybody's into Funko Pops, so if you're not interested in them, feel free to skip ahead. I would appreciate if you did, and if you are really into Funko Pops, then stay tuned. But we did get quite a few this month. Um, obviously we got the Jaw Titan, which uh, I made the video on just a couple of days ago. Um, I, I enjoy this one. The more I've put it in my collection, I've noticed it is by far the biggest titan like it's bigger than the armor titan it's bigger than the female titan it's bigger than the colossal titan and that takes it down for me i think they could have just scaled it down just a little bit because it's not that canonically that big of a titan so it being the biggest doesn't work for me but i mean overall it's fine um then obviously uh I don't know why I got them out in the order that I did, but uh, obviously also got the Levi pop here. Now, if you're wondering about the other Jaw Titan, that was from last month, so I'm not going to talk about it again here. But uh, this one looks good. Uh, this one kind of unnecessary, but I mentioned that before. Um, also, for Demon Slayer, we got two Funko Pops this month. We got uh, Ginya here that I just hadn't picked up for whatever reason. I saw him on sale, so I picked him up. But then we also got uh, the Shinobu uh, SDCC or San Diego Comic Con exclusive here. Kind of disappointed that we got this. Um, there's so many pops that we could get for Demon Slayer now. Kane, her older sister, I thought would be a perfect con exclusive. Uh, the three little ones from uh, the Butterfly Mansion would be a perfect con exclusive. But they give us another Shinobu. Shinobu deserves just a mainline pop. I don't know why they're so against giving the Hashira just mainline pops. Just release them to everybody. They would sell well. Probably better than Genya, but they're not going to do it. And I don't know why, but I don't know. We got another Shinobu, and it's not as good as the other one. So, unfortunately, it's still good. Like, it's, there's no issues with it, but it's just not like, why? Um, also, we started a new line, and this is a line that I am uh, fairly excited about because I think it has some potential, um, and I'm going to talk about kind of the disappointment that's already given me, but uh, we got uh, Power and Aki, I think is his name, yeah, Aki, and uh, these two are pretty good, especially Power, I like Power quite a bit, um, Aki's fine, um, I think the pose is good, um, but I, I think Power, I know some people complained that Power should have had details in her eyes. I don't think so. I think the yellow eyes are fine for me. Now, where my issues come in is this uh, po Pochita pop. Uh, here's my issue. Oh, you can't say it. Hang on. It, it don't stand. Like, at all. Like, it, it does not stand even a little bit. I mean, it does stand, but it leans. It's so bad. I don't know if, like, I got a defective one or what, but this, like, little thing underneath him there, just, like, the handle doesn't let him stand up at all. Um, so, unfortunately, it just didn't work. And also, the legs look kind of funny. I don't know. It just don't look right. Um, the face looks great. They're making another one of these. They're making the uh, um, the Funko Shop exclusive that is coming out probably next month sometime. So we're going to get that and we're going to see how that is compared to this one because this one is awful in my opinion. Um, that is it for the Funko Pops. I don't get. I didn't get that many more Funko Pops. I don't collect that many anime Funko Pops. Just Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, which Attack on Titan has no more coming, and then now uh, Chainsaw Man. Next month, I'll have the other three Chainsaw Man, the Power, uh, Denji, and then Chainsaw Man himself. Maybe the Chainsaw Man Chase, but we'll see. There's still a few Demon Slayer Pops that I need, so maybe I'll pick up a few of them. I am going to Anime NYC next month, so maybe we'll get a few of them there. So we will see. Now, 
moving on, we're not going to jump right on into Nindroids first, but let's jump into some figures. Now, these are a few that I have not showed off yet, and first of them is Chizuru here. Now, as you may know, I'm trying to collect every Chizuru that has ever been released. Here's another one. Uh, I mentioned this one in the AmiAmi video where I got it. Uh, it's pretty good. I have no real issues with it. It looks fine. Um, it's pretty good for a prize figure, um, and I think it does the job. Um, there's one more that I need, and then one a color swap that I need. Um, so hopefully I will get those two very soon. So the color swap one's not that hard to get. I'm actually hoping to see it at uh, Anime NYC, and I'm going to pick it up. But if not, then I'm not worried. Uh, then there's a sundress one with a straw hat that I've got to get as well, and then there's more figures coming soon, so we'll get those as they release. Um, but then we also got a few other uh, figures here, the first of which is this David Martinez here. Um, I thought this one was pretty good. Um, I, I made a video on this, which you may or may not see, because here's the thing. With figures like this, they're they're good. They're, they they work. I don't have a lot to say about them. It's like, yeah, that's David. Doesn't look any... I don't have any problems with it, so... I don't know what else to tell you. Like, yeah, it's good, you know. So, is it worth getting if you're into the series? I don't know. Pop-Up Parade for me is so, like... They're good. They're good. But they also are like... This is going to seem harsh. Soulless to me. Sometimes. I don't know. Maybe that's harsh. But they just seem so like... I don't know. There's just nothing like... Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Like... like okay, we'll look at the next one here. Um, this is a Miku prize figure. Um, and... Uh, it... I think it's neat, and, you know, yeah, there's not a whole lot, like, you know, it's not as probably detailed as this one, but it, it's just, like, wow, that's neat, the clear base, got a design on the base, there's little design elements to it that I'm like, hey, I didn't expect that. I don't ever get that with these pop-up parade figures, and I'm just kind of disappointed on them sometimes, but that's just me. Um, speaking of Miku, we did get this Miku. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's very cute. It's a uh, kind of a bikini one. And we did uh, get a few more uh, Mikus this month. We obviously got this Sakura Miku here. This is my first Sakura Miku, which is the Cherry Blossom Mikus. Um, I thought it was pretty good. No real issues with this one. I thought it was probably the best of the prize Mikus that I got this month, which I got three of them. And the next one here is one that you will see in a video fairly soon, um, probably next week. And that is, if not next week, the week after. But this is a tropical Miku. And this is an awful figure. <laughs> I, I thought it'd be a lot better than this. But wow, that is awful like it just looks so bad uh for one it is very short as you can see here it's it's very short um but it's just so bad like the skin color looks awful um the blue doesn't really work it looks like like this blue works and you can see here it's even got like little translucent pieces at the end of her hair that looks really nice this this is cheap. This is like, like this is a $30 to $40 prize figure that I am like, yeah, worth it. $30 to $40, worth it. This is a ripoff if you spent $15 on it. Just saying. Just saying. Um, Now we did get one more Miku here, and this is also going to be that same video as that one because I was glad I didn't make a short out of that one. But uh, this is a Tropical Miku, and it is a more, like, high-quality one. And it does look pretty good. Uh, I'm a bit harsh on it in the video, and I don't regret that because it did... I did think it would be better um, in the... Like, whenever I saw pictures of it, 
I think the face is a little bit off, just personally. You know, is it bad? No. But it's... I, I made the comment in that video that the Marin from last month, the Bikini Marin that we talked about, um, that that was a really good figure, and it was worth the price. Like, the price was low, and even though you didn't get a whole lot, it's just Marin in her bikini, it looks really good, and it's not that expensive, and it works out really well. This is a more expensive figure. This is about like $140 to $150, depending on where you get it. I don't think it's worth that. I'm going to be honest. I, I just don't see it. I don't, like, agree that it should be that expensive. You know, that's just my opinion. And maybe that's harsh, but, you know, seeing more and more stuff, you're like, you know, it should be more valuable to me. Now, let's talk about some Nindroids before we get into the fun part of it. Um, so the first one here is one that you've already seen a video of, and that is this little Miku here that is a collaboration with the Cinema Roll. Um, I think this turned out really well. This is a really cute little pairing here. Um, I think Miku is really adorable. Um, obviously, Cinema Roll is adorable. No real, you know, I don't need to tell you that. It's just you know that, and uh, she's very cute. So... That one, not a lot of people watched that video, but I'm, I'm kind of like wishing they would have because I do wish more people would have checked out that figure. Uh, but maybe, maybe that'll catch on later. Now the rest of these are figures that I have not put out shorts of yet, or not shorts of videos out yet. They will be coming out throughout the month of August, maybe even into September. So if you don't see these videos for a while, that's why. Uh, but the first of them is Wiz here from Konosuba. Um, I had a few issues with how this figure came. Um, mostly the lack of... Uh, you didn't get a lot with this one. This one was kind of a bare-bones nindroid. And while that's fine, sometimes I think sometimes they should get a little bit more than what we get in the box. And unfortunately... That one did not get a whole lot. And the same can be said about this one. And this one is a figure that I should have bought a lot a long time ago, but I didn't. And that is Sumi here from Rinna Girlfriend. I thought I had this. I thought it was sitting up there. It never was. It's just one I never bought. And now I've got it because I want to have the entire Rinna Girlfriend Android line. So there we go. Um, but like I said, kind of bare bones. Now that cannot be said about this one. And that is this... Uh, Bochi the Rock, I forgot her name, shoot, uh, shoot, I don't know what it was, it's the drunk girl from it, but this is a really good Nendroid. There's like four different expressions you can put on this figure, you can have a, like a beer bottle, you can have her playing your guitar, you can pretty much do whatever you want, and it works so well. This is a fantastic Nendroid. Um, in terms of like best Nendroids of the year, that's up there. That is a really, really good figure. Um, we're running out of space here. This is a more... Th I've gotten more this month than uh, I normally do. Um, now, the next two here are a fun pair. Uh, they are the Licorice Recoil little cafe uniforms here. Now, I made a video about these. They will be coming out very soon as well. And I really like these. I'm not going to really say a whole lot because... Go check out that video whenever it comes out. But these really impress me. Um, I do think they are worth buying, even if you have the original two. So go check that out if you are interested. Now, finally, before we get into the big figures of the month, I'm going to show you a few things that I did not unbox this month. Um, the first of which is these trains from Johanne. Um, I didn't unbox these, and the reason why is because I'm getting Sound Euphonium trains next month. I want to wait and do a big video talking about these and the Sound Euphonium ones at the same time. So you'll see that next month sometime. Um, but then we also have this Hatsune Miku Tubbs figure here. And the reason why I didn't unbox this is because I'm going to unbox it right now. Um, so this is one of the little rubber ducks that they make now. Um, and I kind of had mixed opinions on them because I believe they're kind of overpriced. But I thought, well, Hatsune Miku is cool, and uh, I'll get one and check it out for myself. And I didn't really want to make this into a short because I wanted to 
kind of give you my thoughts on it whenever I first saw it, but it was not a detailed enough thing that I needed to give you a full video on it. But uh, as you can see here, it's pretty neat. Um, like I said, it's just a big rubber duck that looks like Hatsune Miku. Does it squeak? Hang on. Not very good. Yeah, kind of. It's neat. I think it's more like $15 neat, not like $25 neat, but it's it's cool. I have no issues with it. The next one here and the final one that I did not unbox this month is this Jin, Jin Shi. This is the guy from Apothecary Diaries. Um, the reason why I haven't unboxed this yet is because I think it would work better as a video if I unbox this and Mau Mau in the same one. So as soon as I get Mau Mau, there you go. Hopefully I'll find her at uh, the Anime NYC because that's my plan to get it there because I think I will be able to find that one there, hopefully. Now the next three here is the final three of the month that we have for figures. And uh, the first of which is, let's do this one first. This is Ginkgo. This is from the Reuse Work is Never Done. This is probably my least favorite of these three of the month. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. I think it's fine, but I think the pose is a bit standard. I think just the character is not as cool as these other two. And uh, it's fine. But the next one here is really cute, and I like her a lot. And that is I from The Reuse Work Is Never Done. It's, it's just a really good figure. In terms of, like, posing, the whole character here is really good. The hair is really good. I showed this off in the other one, but the hair is good. And just overall, I think it is a much better figure than that one. Um, that's just my opinion. And I said in the video, and I'll say it again, they gave her better, they gave her better assets than they did her. That's the whole point of a bunny girl. I'm going to spoil that for you. That's why everybody buys the bunny girls. We don't buy it for the thinking character aspect we'd buy one of these if we wanted that um and they gave the small one that so that's not my fault for pointing that out it's just what happened speaking of speaking of assets here um this one here dang uh, they uh they did not skimp out on anything with this one um I wanted to compare these in the this video whenever I made that one, but like this is the shortest figure that I have from Fring right now. This is the tallest. Like her head is lower than her chest. That is this this is an insanely small figure, but it's worth it. This is an insanely big figure and it's worth it. It's it's a very good fraying figure here worth every penny in my opinion um the netting looks really good the little heart thing here i think is great i didn't notice that the gloves on this one i just think like this is a 9 out of 10 figure in my opinion maybe a 9.5 this is a 9 this is like a 7 that's just my opinion um but we are not done just yet because we have some manga and Blu-ray to show you off now, so I'm going to go ahead and move some of these out of the way, then I'll come back and we'll show you all of those. Mm. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over everything that I bought this month. Now, um, Blu-rays at the bottom, we have another Blu-ray over here, so we'll get to those at the end, but I will go through them one at a time here, and the first one of these is Penguin Highway, the manga. Now, I really like Penguin Highway. Penguin Highway was a good movie. Um, I read some of the light novel. I didn't finish it because I just never, I couldn't get into it as much as I was hoping. But I do want to read the manga at some point. This just came out. It's from Yen Press, and I think it's really good. Um, just n not in the reading it. I haven't got around to doing that because I just bought this like two days ago. But uh, as for like the cover here, it looks really good. The back here, little penguin there, he's really cute. 
and it's very thick so we'll see how that is um the next one here is a anime that's currently airing and i had volume one and two and uh, I, I read volume one and it didn't really catch me the way i thought it would and then i watched the anime and it, i really got into the anime the anime kind of like was like whoa i didn't expect that and then uh so now i've bought volume three and uh, I'm just going to continue to buy some of these because eventually the anime will stop and I want to continue on the series. So, volume three of that. The next one here is Metalist, volume three. Um, I really haven't got into this series yet. I've got volume one and two. I have not read them because it's one of them where I was like, I want to buy it because I'm, I will read it, but it's not one that I've checked out yet. So, uh We'll get around to it but it does the series looks very good and i've heard a lot of good things about it um the next one here is just like the mona lisa now, this is a fun one here because it's about a kind of non-binary character i kind of like stories like that especially to see how japanese uh writers will interpret that i think they no offense i think they kind of do it better than some american writers because they do it kind of more realistically than american writers just my opinion um, the next one here is Dave's My Stepsister, Volume 3, the anime of this is currently airing, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoyed Volume 1 of this whenever I read it. So, I haven't read Volume 2, but Volume 1 was pretty good. Volume 3 is here. So, I do recommend it and the anime if you are interested. Now, the next one here is one that I am very excited about because I've been looking for it, and I finally found it. It is the Apothecary Diaries, Volume 1 of the light novel. Now, I do have the manga this is the light novel so we are finally able to find this now here's the bad part this is the only volumes they had so uh unfortunately we are stuck with just one volume for now i'm at like two volumes of yeah two volumes of the manga so i can't find this hopefully we find it more soon um the next one here is the girl I saved on the train turned out to be my childhood friend volume six this is the manga adaptation of it um, there is a light novel adaptation as well I think am I right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why they gave us both the manga and anime or manga and light novel adaptation we've not heard anything about an anime adaptation I don't think so interesting but I read the manga of it I have not read the light novel of it but it's pretty good no real problems with it um obviously no real problems with it i bought it so i've bought up six volumes of it so obviously i enjoy it on um, the next one here it was the next three here actually are just what i do with a few of my series here is if i can find the next volume that i don't have i buy it and uh, my local bookstore actually got a bunch of these in and i got volume eight of Kaguya Sama Love is War, Volume 9, and Volume 10. So, getting a few of them. The next one here is a series that I really enjoy, and I'm glad that they're making it in manga form, and that is My Clueless First Friend. Um, it's a really fun series. They adapt these into two volumes that were in Japan into one big kind of thicker volume here. So this is actually volumes 11 and 12, and it is volume 6 here. But glad we're getting it. The next one here is volume 11 of My Dress Up Darling. Uh, great series. I don't need to explain to you why this is a good series, so there you go. I haven't got this out of the plastic yet because I just bought this the other day as well. Now the next one here is volume six of Oshinoko. Oshinoko is airing this season, so there you go. If you'd like to read more of the manga, there you go. Up to volume six on that now. Now here's a fun one because it is my favorite, or one of my favorites. There's a ton of favorites from this series, but it is one of my favorite volume covers from Renner Girlfriend, and that is the Ruka cover here in her swimsuit. I love this cover. You know, yeah, it's showing her butt, but you know it's ruka ruka's great so there you go it's uh i believe this is yeah this is in the arc that we're about to get more of so is this the i don't know if this is the ntr chapter or not i don't think so maybe it is oh it is it is so there you go if you want the ntr parts of it 
then there you go. Um, they, huh, interesting. I noticed a detail that is not in the scans of that. Interesting. Buy it for yourself and see if you notice what I just noticed. So I won't say anymore. But uh, anyway, the next one here is a series that I found out is coming and found out exist purely on that my uh, I, the anime uh, NYC badges are shipping and they revealed the design for them all and everything. And the anime NYC plus badge is this. It is tying the knot with the Ama gami sister sisters i don't know anything about it but we're getting an anime adaptation of it in the fall i didn't know that but we are and it's on the anime nyc plus badge so there you go i am gonna check that out now because i found i thought it looked interesting and the characters look really cute on this so we'll check it out now finally the last manga that i got this month was when will i Me make his move volume 15. Um, I don't remember how many volumes of this there are, but this series is over now, so getting it as the English version releases. And we have two Blu-rays to go over before we I let you go here. Um, the first one of this is Bochi... No, not Bochi. Bofuri. Uh, I don't want to get hurt, so I maxed out my defense volume 2, or season 2, um, not volume, but... Uh, it matches with volume or season one. It's the same box art as the limited edition version. So I went ahead and bought the limited edition version, even though I wasn't a big fan of season two. So there we go. And the final thing that I got this month is a Blu-ray, and it is Tomo-chan is a girl, the limited edition here. I really enjoyed this series, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the limited edition of it. It's in a cool box here. Unfortunately, it suffers the same problem as both Furry and Spy Family did, in that you get an extra little box of stuff here, and you can't fit it in the dang case. I mean, I like having extra stuff, but I'd like to put it somewhere. What do you expect me to do with art cards? Do you want me to just put them in the closet? Because that's where they're going to have to go. I don't know. But anyway, that is it. This is a more stacked month, and August will be no different, to be honest, because I will be going to Anime NYC later in the month. So if you are interested in what I get for that and much more, stay tuned, and don't forget to like and subscribe to see that. And one final thing before I go, yes, that... That is also from this month, but I'm not going to get it out of that corner because it's too hard to move. But I did get the white um, little blouse thing. You can see it up there. I was able to get a blouse that would fit that, and it fits it very well. It does actually kind of do what I expected and that it kind of makes her chest a little bit bigger than it should be, but I think it fits her character, so that really worked out well. Um, but that is it what did you buy this month? Did you buy anything new this month for your anime collection? Let me know down below, and we have a ton of new videos coming out next month, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.